Can you hear me, Peter? Yes. Good. Welcome to Denver. Glad Thank to have you. Man. I was curious. Uh, you, you were a Nuggets draftee a while back. You've been playing overseas. You're staying there. How, how did you decide? Uh, like, when is the right time uh, to visit the NBA, so to speak? Uh, you know, I didn't really decide. Like, uh, I was just trying my best to to get there. So yeah, it's been a, a long journey, but. I mean, I'm finally there, and I just want to work, work hard to, you know, make the team. Adam Mares, DNVR. Hey, Peter, it's great to see you again. Um, I was reading an interview you did in West France, I believe, just a, a, about a month ago. I might have said that wrong. I apologize, but. Uh. You, you mentioned that, you know, you've had a bit of a change of mindset over the last few years. And the quote you, you had is, I've become more interested in the game and how I fit into it. I was just wondering if you could kind of expand on that and, and expand on how you feel you're different from last time we saw you uh, at Summer League. Uh, I think I'm way different. Like, like you say, on my mindset, like, uh, I just want to, like, work as hard as I can to, you know, be a better basketball player. Um, just work on my game, work on my physical, work on my knowledge of the game, like everything. So I can be the, the best player I can, I can be. And, you know, like I had like some good and bad experiences that made me think like this. So yeah, I'm pretty proud to think like that now. Uh, so yeah, just like, I just want to get better now, you know. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Peter, good to see you. Um, when you were overseas, who was keeping in touch with you uh, from the Nuggets? Was, was Tim Connolly? Was Calvin Booth? Was the, was the front office? Who was, who was keeping you connected? Uh, so I had some scouts from, from Denver. But the main was Tim, yeah. Uh, I had a lot of contact with Tim. Uh, that was great because, you know, he, he'd been watching the game, like seeing what I'm, what I'm doing. So following me through these five years, so yeah, it was awesome to 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 like to get this contact. Yeah. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey Peter, good to see you. Uh, have you had a chance to talk with uh, the coaching staff or anybody about what your role might be in the upcoming season? Uh not really yet. Not really yet. I'm just uh, here till from uh, a week ago now. So yeah, not not really. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Peter, your numbers in France were way up last season compared to, you know, what they were before. What clicked for you last season? Was it just more playing time, a different mindset like you were talking about? What what changed for you last season? No, like I said, my, my mindset changed and I've been working harder and harder. So I've been like just progressing. And I think that's why like the coach had some more confidence in, in, in me and he made me play more, like more responsibility also. And I just did better. So, yeah, I think it's just like my mindset, just like being there uh, first in the gym, last one to, uh, to to get out. And, yeah, that made me play better, actually. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Peter, welcome to Denver. Uh, for those that don't necessarily know your game as, as well, uh, just – given that you're, you're just so recent coming here, how would you describe your game and, and maybe some of the improvements that you made last year, like your shooting? I would say, uh, how would I describe it? I would say now I'm a kind of a stretch five, like a stretch four, I don't know, uh, able to shoot, able to go to the rim, able to, to rebound. Uh, I'm trying my best to play the, be the best defense I can on like five, four, even three or, or, or two men sometimes on, on switches. So yeah, that's part of my game here. Yeah. And my ability to, to run the floor a lot here. Yeah. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Peter, you've mentioned you've been here for about a week and I just want to get your initial thoughts on your new teammates, who you bonded with and what your overall view of the NBA has been like thus far. I mean, it's great. Like uh, nobody, uh, I mean, not everybody was was, was here, uh, but the, the guys I, I had to meet was just like awesome guys. Uh, they, they, they made me feel good here. So I already knew the city a little bit because so, I, I played like three summer leagues, I think. So 
just great. I'm just happy to be here and it's great to have some good guys around. Um, the team was telling me that it was only good guys in the team, so uh, that's what I can see now. So yeah, I'm really happy to be there. Christos Saltes, SDNA Greece. Hey Peter, hope you're doing well. How you live this process so far and uh, how important for you is to have teammates like Nicola, Facundo, how help you to adjust in, in the team on and off the floor? I mean, it, it, it's great to, to get like teammates like that. Like, I mean, Joker just was the, the MVP of the season. So I had a lot to, uh, to, to learn from these guys and uh, especially like guys who played in, in Europe uh, and now are playing in the NBA and doing good in the NBA. It's really great to to see that that experience that they have and just like to 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 adjust uh, to adjust to them to to play better. So yeah, it's just it's just great experience and even Vladko, it's the same. So yeah. Joel Rush Forbes. Hey Peter, uh, do you see yourself as being a particular position in the NBA? Um, I know the FIBA game doesn't necessarily translate one to one, but how do you see yourself fitting in in the NBA there? Um, for now, I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know because I think I get to get some some weight in to to, to play the the center position. Uh, but my goal is to play the the four, the five, uh, either position. So yeah, I just wanna for now. I just wanna work as much as, as I can, like on my physical, uh, on my technique, on my my basketball IQ, and everything to to be the best player I can. I'm not thinking too much about position. Like, uh, yeah, I just want to be able to play on both positions. Chris Marlowe, Altitude Sports. Peter, I was wondering, uh, what is your involvement with the French national team? I didn't see you at the Olympics. I was curious, did you try out? Were you, did you want to be on the team? What, what, how, how did that all work? Yeah, I mean, I made the team at the, the last moment. Uh, so at first I, I wasn't uh, supposed to be on that team, but you know, like you attract good things, <laughs> I guess, when you walk out. So that's what happened. Uh, I made the team at the last moment because of injuries and stuff. So it was just great experience uh, playing the Olympics with the great team, great teammates who play like top EuroLeague level or top NBA level. So yeah, I mean, I didn't play too much, obviously, but I wasn't supposed to also. So, I mean, yeah, it was just a great experience. Christo Saltes, SDNA Greece. For you to, to be in a, in a high, uh, high expectation team, a championship caliber team, what it means for you and what is the biggest motivation for you about the, the upcoming season? Like I said, uh, I just want to be ready to play in the NBA and the NBA level. So I just want to hope the, the, the work as much as I can, uh, be able to uh, benefit from the this team and from the, the, the staff to, to get better and better and better. Uh, as a player, you always want to win. So win championship, win every game. So it's good to be in that kind of team, you know, that got a, a lot of expectations. And uh, yeah, I just want to learn as, as much as I can from, from this and from everything I can now. Yeah. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Peter. Thanks to you.